my name is Maria Capera Miller and I have been a Spanish instructor at the university level for over 20 years, so you are in good hands. And what I am going to do with these videos is to uh, let you have it as a support of all your uh, Spanish lessons that you are taking just so you can make a review and go over and over and learn your Spanish better. Um, the first thing that, uh, uh, that we have in lesson one is uh, articles and nouns. And articles and nouns uh, are so important to build a good sentence. They are just the beginning. Some students have asked me, so but how do I learn how to write? Well, you begin with your articles and nouns and that, that is uh, how you are going to learn how to speak. Pretty much that is the idea. So I am going to begin with two sentences in English and ask you a, a question. And you will figure out what to do once you know the answer. And these two questions are, the boy is here and a boy is here. What is the difference between these two sentences? Let me see. Uh, who knows around here? Who, yeah, tell me. Uh, <coughs> The boy is definite, you know, what boy is there, you know, and this one is? A boy is indefinite. Uh, you don't know what boy arrived. You don't know what boy is waiting for you. And yeah, so that is what happens, that these two are your articles, and this one is the one that determines, the the is the one that determines if the sentence is using a definite article, and this one is determining if the sentence is using an indefinite article. So the word the, the article the, translates four things in Spanish, and it is just a matter of translation. So we have to memorize and we have to learn the translation. So the translation, is el, la, los, las. So anytime that you ha see this word the, you are going to have, you are going to choose one of these. El is a masculine and singular article. La is a feminine and singular article. Los is a masculine and plural article and las is a feminine and plural article. So keep that in mind as we go through the indefinite articles that could be a or an, like an, in an orange, an orange or some. These are the indefinite articles. And so you have four translations to the trust un, una, unos, unas, being Un, a masculine singular, una, a feminine singular, unos, masculine plural, and unas, feminine plural. So up until this point, up until this point, we have covered these two parts of your English, English sentence. Then you may ask me, uh, but professora, how do I choose? I know that it translates four things, each one of them, the definite and the indefinite, but how do I choose one of them? Then we are going to move to the next part, which is the nouns. The nouns are going to determine which article you are going to use. So. Everything in Spanish is going to do, has to do with a noun, with, a, excuse me, everything in Spanish has to do with an ending. So an ending will determine if your, if your article is uh, feminine and, uh, or masculine. And, and, and let me stop here and say that, yeah, all the words uh, in the nouns in Spanish uh, have gender. 
and all the nouns in Spanish may have a uh, number too. So it doesn't have nothing to do with the gender that we are used to, to uh, uh, express uh, in general. Uh, for example, escritorio, which is a desk, has a gender, it is a masculine thing. Or silla, which is a chair, is feminine, so that will be uh, nothing to do with what the word, the connotation, uh, the general connotation that gender has when we hear it in other conversations. So, with that mention, endings. Endings are important. If you have, if we are using verbs, which is going to be another lesson, the ending of the verb is going to determine if the verb is in the present tense or if the verb is in the past tense. So keep that in mind. So if the, if the nouns end with an A, they are feminine. Here is the list of the endings. If the noun ends with yon, they are feminine. If they end with a D, most likely, they are going to be feminine. For example, casa. Then I will use la casa. Uh, yon, lección. I can use la lección or una lección if it is indefinite article. La libertad. La universidad. Now, I, there are some obvious genders that don't have nothing to do with the ending, so just keep them in mind. For example, the translation of woman is mujer, so it will always take a feminine article, whether it is uh, definite or indefinite. And man translates hombre, so that is another obvious gender. So are these only the ones, uh, the, one, the only endings that we have to determine if the noun is a feminine or not? No, it is just an example so you can understand the concept. Uh, endings uh, that uh, are masculine, O, such as in carro, which is a car, uh, or, which is, for example, doctor, which is doctor. Nouns ending on L, such as hospital. And there are some irregular nouns that even though they end with uh, uh, an A, they are masculine, and many of them are like the words ending in ma, such as el problema, el dilema, el tema, you hear el, el, the article that uh, pertains to, to the masculine uh, nouns, but, uh, but in reality, it ends with an A, so we can, cons it, these are kind of the exceptions. Now, we have other two articles that are the los and las, unos, unas, and they are the plural articles. And then how do you make a word plural? Well, check the endings again. If the word ends with a vowel, just add an S, such as in casa, then you put casas. But if the noun is ending on a consonant, then add an ES, such as hospital, then hospitales. So that is, in general, the theory behind articles and nouns, the most basic thing to begin learning and to begin advancing toward that sentence that we have here in English. So I, uh, now I am assuming, once you review this video, that you know everything about 
this uh, the boy, the translation, how to do it in Spanish, and this uh, part, a boy, how to do it in Spanish, and so forth, and so on. And in another lesson, we will be moving to the verbs. So what I am going to do now is let's do an exercise, and you tell me what articles should we use. So I am moving to this part now, which are the exercises. <coughs> the exercises for, for the articles and nouns. And I am beginning with the definite articles. So what do you think, which definite article should I use here? I will be writing what you tell me. El talento. El, el talento, very good. And, and, and here? La recepción. Okay, and here? La realidad. La realidad. And here? Las farmacias. Las farmacias. Yes, the, I have a plural word here, so I am using my plural article. Okay, let's move to the indefinite. The indefinite Article for this one is what? Un artículo. Un, un artículo. And for this one? Una formula. Una formula. Formula, una formula. Uh -huh. And for this one? Una construcción. Una construcción. And for this one? Unas, okay, I have the word ending in Sion here, and this is a consonant, so I am adding the ES to make it plural. And with this, I am closing this video. It was a pleasure being able to explain to you uh, through these methods uh, the lesson for today, and just stay tuned. Adiós. Bye.